Hi, my name is Phil McCowan, and from January 6th to 11th, I'm organizing a Moodle meet on authentic global collaboration. I wanted to take a minute here to describe the structure of this course and my hopes for what it might look like. Ideally, I'm hoping that teachers with a wide range of experiences will choose to join us for some or all of this course. We are structuring each day so there is information and activities to help newcomers develop the skills to join a global collaborative project. But the course will also include links to resources to push the thinking of teachers already involved in these sorts of projects, as well as opportunities to engage in meaningful conversations with like-minded educators. My hope is we can encourage a wide range of focused discussions on each day and help participants build their network of contacts and connections through conversation. As part of this course, we will attempt to collate and document our learning in a wiki newcomer's guide to global collaborative projects. In effect, we hope to run our course as a global collaborative project. Each day has been structured around a different guiding question. On Friday, January 6th, we will look at what tools do teachers need to know how to use to participate in global collaborative projects. A wide variety of tools can be used, but we're going to focus on three of them, Google Documents, Wikis, and Blackboard Collaborate, as well as the Moodle platform which will be used for the course. On Saturday, January 7th, we will look at what is a global collaborative project and we will use a framework that looks at project scope and scale to help differentiate between different kinds of projects. On Saturday, we are also very lucky to have a chance to meet with Julie Lindsay, the co-author of Flattening Classrooms, in a Blackboard Collaborate session. On Sunday, January 8th, we will look at what teacher skills are needed to engage in authentic global collaborative projects. And on this day, we will look at what it's like to be involved in a global collaborative project and some of the technical, interpersonal, and intrapersonal skills that can help facilitate the process. On Monday, January 9th, we will explore what approaches to teaching can help a global collaborative project be a success. Brad Ovenel Carter will take the lead on this day, and we will be exploring ways to structure student participation in these projects so that they are engaged, involved, and accountable. On Tuesday, January 10th, Participants will have a chance to join or work on a project that interests them. This might be our course collaborative wiki, possibly a project you design yourself, or another project that's caught your attention. We also hope to extend our conversation further by bringing in some outside experts to discuss how a global collaborative project can lead to positive change in the world. Finally, we will wrap up the course on Wednesday, January 11th, but my hope is that many of the participants will stay connected and that this course is just the beginning of many new and exciting authentic global collaborations.